Hello, MPI friends, Event Prof Sam Allen here, your host for EMEC 20 in Sevilla in February next year. I am thrilled to have Sven with me. Sven, you were calling the shots. I was calling the shots. At The Hague this year. Yeah, I was. Now, the theme for the conference this year was changing the game. What has inspired you to continue working to push the boundaries for Sevilla in February? Yeah. A well, good question. We were, we were indeed uh, trying to change the game and I think we succeeded with, with everyone involved. Uh, and as part of the legacy, we felt it was really important to hand over the stuff that we learned and the knowledge that we uh, uh, collected to the next team organizing it. Uh, and that's also the reason why a lot of the people involved with the 2019 edition are part of the designing process for the 2020 edition in Seville. Now, I understand that 65 European event professionals have got involved in the design for EMEC 20. What tips could you give them from uh, some of the really innovative stuff that happened in The Hague? Remember that we've got an audience who may not have been at The Hague yeah. with us this year. Yeah. Well, there are some key elements, I think, that made the 19th edition a success. And one of the most important, I feel, was that we were not aiming for the biggest venue or the newest AV. It was all part of the... Uh, it was supporting the success, I would say. And what we were aiming for was to touch people and to really try to not only stimulate their knowledge, but also to try to touch them in the heart. And by doing so, making sure that the connections were made. And I think that's one of the reasons why 19 was a success. And uh, what I've been told on the 20th edition, they're continuing in that side. EMEC 19 had an incredible effect on all the attendees who were there. Tell us what the magic was. Why did that happen? Right. right. Well, one of the things that we felt was really important was to touch people in their emotion, uh, not showing off with the biggest venue or the hottest AV or anything like that. It was about making true connections. Uh, and it, I think part of the success was the parts that were not communicated in the program as such. It were the little details that made people comfortable or uncomfortable. And that was an add-on on the, on the program as such. Now, we're going to be asking questions of people in Sevilla around different design principles asking the different question, exploring new journeys. So let me ask you, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Well, I have a one year old, so I'm actually looking to the world sometimes through her eyes. And then you do a lot of things for the first time. Uh, whether it is crawling on the floor and looking up to your own living room uh, from that perspective or any kind of side. So I think Having a newborn around and, and looking at the world from a different perspective, that's something that we can learn from. Uh, because I feel that we as individuals, also as an industry, every now and then are stuck to the same perspective. And I think if we are willing and able to, to open up our views and to change perspective every now and then, we can come with different solutions to problems that we face. Thank you so much for listening to this. Again, changing perspectives, pushing boundaries. We look forward to seeing you at EMEC 20 in Sevilla in February next year. Thank See you so you much, Sen.